goes. Are they just words and sentences on a piece of paper? And are we ever going to check them off our list? For many of us, achieving our goals, it's actually pretty hard because sometimes we get derailed from our journey to achieve that goal. And sometimes we just crumple it up and put it in our pocket and never think about it ever again. And that sometimes is not a good thing. I mean, not sometimes, probably always not a good thing. So how do we hold ourselves accountable to make sure that we are still motivated and ambitious to achieving that goal? In today's topic, I want to talk about why it's important to have a purpose for every goal that we give ourselves. And let's also get this out of the way. Our purpose is not a one-time deal. No, a purpose is not one where you take a piece of paper and you write it down and now you're done for the day and you just live with that purpose for the rest of your life. No, I believe that a purpose is forever changing, just like we are. It grows when we grow. So our purpose is not a one-time thing. It changes whenever you are changing yourself. You can always change it. And one more thing, I believe that you can have more than one purpose. Because as human beings, we are living so many different parts in our lives, in our social parts, personal, in a relationship. I believe that our life is split into three parts. Like what I just mentioned, it's all about our personal, which is our self-love, our personal development. And the second pillar, it's our relationship, the people we are impacting, our friends, our family members, our partners, our loved ones. And the third one is our social, which is the organizations, the communities, and the hobbies and activities that we want to do. These three parts in our life is what makes us whole. It's what makes us a human, a person, because we are out there doing things, impacting so many different parts in our lives. So I believe that every part in our life, which is those three, deserves a purpose in each one so that we have a clear sense of what we're doing, maybe a clear sense of clarity in our journey, uh, whatever we're trying to achieve. Let's talk about our social pillar here, which is the types of activity or organization that you wanna get involved with. Uh, and for myself, my background is actually a graphic designer. And in college, I knew I wanted to get into advertising, but I didn't know why. So my goal as a college student was to graduate and get into advertising. But then what drove me and had the ambition to do that, it's because I wanted to have, you know, my, my purpose was to create meaningful campaigns. I want to create meaningful campaigns for brands that can impact a community or an audience. So my purpose was to get into advertising so that I can create meaningful campaigns. And that was my goal. My goal is advertising. My purpose is to create meaningful campaigns. And that is what I'm gonna do to get there. So if I was to get derailed from my journey, if I was to get different opportunities, it doesn't matter if I don't end up being in advertising, if I ended up being an in-house or a smaller team, as long as my purpose is still creating meaningful campaigns. You see how having that purpose allows me to stay true to what I actually want to do at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what I do or where I go, as long as I'm getting the opportunity to create meaningful campaigns. Let's talk about another one uh, for our social pillar. And let's talk about getting involved with an organization, a nonprofit. So a goal of yours could probably be educating communities about the arts. So that could be your goal. Your goal is to get into an organization that talks about the arts. And your purpose could be because you want to educate that community about the performing arts, rather than that's about dancing, performing, graffiti, and singing, whatever it is you define arts, that is your purpose. So your goal is to get into an arts organization, nonprofit, because your purpose is to educate those community more about arts. So why it's important to you and your community and to individuals growing up who want to get involved. So that is how you break it down because again, no matter where you go, as long as at the end of the day, you're getting to serve your purpose, which is to educate communities on the arts. And lastly, this one, self-love, which falls under our personal pillar. Self-love is such a heavy topic because there's so many ways you can go about it, but it gets too deep. But let's keep it high level. Let's say that you want to learn more about self-love yourself so that you can be a better person. So your goal is to go to therapy, because that's one way to self-love is going to therapy. But why do you need to go to therapy? Why do you even want to go? Because if you find a purpose, maybe your purpose is to find fulfillment. Maybe your purpose is to bring clarity into your own life. Or maybe your purpose is to make your partner 
feel better in your relationship, what to for you to become a better partner in your own relationship. But whatever the case is, let's say your goal is to get into therapy and your purpose is to find fulfillment. Because at the end of the day, when you do leave that therapy and you're done, or whenever you are done, you know you can checkpoint something on your list. Because once you start to feel fulfilled, then you can start saying to yourself, okay, I am achieving something. I succeeded, check. Having a purpose is also a good way for you to have checkpoints to measure your success. So that at the end of the day, you're not beating yourself up. You're not feeling guilty if you've done it or not. So let's bring it all back together. Giving yourself a purpose for every goal you have can be intimidating. Because what if you had 10 goals, right? Like, oh, am I supposed to have 10 purposes? I mean, you can, that's very ambitious. But if some of your goals starts to sound the same and align, then that's when you can have an overarching purpose for those goals. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, giving yourself a purpose gives yourself the ability to measure where you are. By having a purpose for every goal that you're setting for yourself, it gives you that mentality and the control over things that are coming towards you. Whether those are challenges, turmoils, you know, things that are not going the way you want it to go. As long as you have the purpose at the end of the finish line, you are going there. You're not getting derailed. You're not going too far off. But if you do, you do know that, okay, I'm going to hit this. So you're going to come back. It's a way to hold us accountable and to make sure that we are keeping ourselves in check. So I'm going to leave you with this. I challenge you and I encourage you to find a purpose for all of your goals because I believe that having a purpose for your goals is definitely going to give you better control and a better sense of clarity to give you that ambition and motivation to keep going and acting.